Hey, you awesome, wonderful, blessed, excited, ignited people. This is your Hun Monkeys GFL Ministries. Hope you guys are doing good out there. Yes, it's rough, tough, and bus and villasy voltain and yeah, out there. So I just want to say to you guys, hold on for a due season. You know, doing good, you will have your reward. So don't stop doing good. Don't stop um, not holding on to the word of God. For God is good and his mercy is in the forever. And yeah, I just want to encourage you and say, to you, come on, don't, don't give up, okay? But in the other hand, the other hand, I'm going to say something. And you're not going to like it. But it's truth. So you can, again, uh, if you want to challenge me, I'm not into challenging. I'm into what God says. Yeah, but that, what God's word says. If you don't believe this, then you have a problem, okay? So if you say I need to p believe some things, whatever things, then it's, that's a bit of an issue here. But I want to explain to you uh, something about life and death. Because apparently a lot of people is dying, a lot of Christians is dying, and there's a lot of questions people have, and people, have, the religious people of the day, they give the stupid answers, you know, God giveth and God taketh away. So God gives you a gift and he, he, he takes it away. Now the Bible says God's gift is irrevocable. You know, Job said that because he had no understanding, okay, you know, of God's goodness. Anyway, in Job, there was not the blood of Jesus. There was not an intercessor either way, okay? Old Testament, when God did some stuff in there, he says, and God killed this and God judged this and God destroyed that and whatever. That was not God. I'm telling you now because it's written by people. Not by God, okay? And the Lord said to me, this is the word of, God's word is in the Bible. The whole Bible is not God's word. That's why we need the Holy Spirit to see what was inspired by the Holy Spirit. The scripture, Holy Scripture, which was the Holy Scripture inspired by the word of God. Because there's also law. The Bible says this in, in 2 Corinthians 3. But if you read the Old Testament, there's a veil before your eyes. By the reading of the Old Testament, now read 2 Corinthians 3, it talks about the Spirit gives life, but the letter kills, okay? So we need to understand, what are we reading? We should not read the law, we should read grace, because the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. We need to understand that, okay? So yes, Job, God giveth and God, giveth and God takes away. That's not God, okay? I want you to understand, it's like in limitations. And they said, then God caused famine upon this planet or the earth, and so we had to, we were starving and we were in famine and was hungry. We had to kill our kids and we had to eat them. So that's what it says in Lamentation. So it's all God's fault. It's all God's fault. One thing me and my wife have in common, we say this when it comes to the law. You know what? God is good and it's never his fault. Okay. Why? Because God is good. Period. God is not into death. God is not into destruction. God is not into destroying this planet. God made everything and he said it is good. Yeah, but Johan, look at the world, whatever. Yes, it's by man. I gave you authority. Born again, not born. I gave you authority to rule and reign and have dominion. Okay, so there's inherent uh, authority in man. Doesn't matter who he is. Because the only difference, have you been renewing your mind so according to the will of God, the word of God? You know, do not be conformed to this world, transforming and renewing and transforming of, the, of your mind. And to, to know what is this perfect and perfect and acceptable will of God. What for your life? You know, to be in alignment with God's word. Okay. I want you to understand it. God is not in the, God does not kill babies. God does not kill people. Okay. I want you to understand that. I want you to hear that. It says here in Ezekiel 18. 31, it says, cast away from you all the transgressions which you have committed and get yourself a new heart and a new spirit. That was prophetic utterance for today. For why should you die, O house of Israel? And it says, for I have no pleasure in, in, in death of one who dies. God has no pleasure in the one who dies. Okay, I want you to understand that. Therefore, turn and live. Turn and live. Turn and live. I want you to understand that God is into life. He's not into death. That's why he sent Jesus. Yeah, but Johan, death is normal. No, don't tell me death is normal. You know, you choose. Bible says, I said before you, life and death, blessing and curses, but choose life. Answer. Jesus never came to give death. He came to give life. John 10, I came to give you life abundant to the full till it overflows. But before the verse before that says, Satan comes to kill, steal and destroy. Well, actually not Satan, the teachers. It talks about 
But you can also use Satan as one of them. But the whole John 10 is about wrong teachers teaching people crap about death and how bad God is. And how God's going to do this. No, but God is good. No, God is going to kill you. But you must, God is good. You know, like God is bipolar, schizophrenic. That's not God. God is good, period. You know, we love him because he love, first loved us. So God loves us so much, he wants to kill us. No, we have already died in Christ. We don't have to die again. We have already died in Christ. And we are risen with newness in, in, in Christ. Okay, that's who we are. I want you to see that. Oh, people, um, people's not happy with me at this moment. So a lot of people's like, yeah, you are, you like an idiot. Okay, prove me wrong. Okay, prove me wrong. Yeah, but you want this, this. Now, I said to people the following thing. People look at the Old Testament and God did this and God punished it and whatever. But it says in Hebrews 1, it says, And Jesus, Jesus was the full representation of the Father, uh, of Godhead bodily. The Father, the full representation. So when Jesus walked on this planet, okay, then I want to ask you this question. Did he kill anybody? Did he struck kids down? Did he struck people down or did he come to preach the gospel? Of the good news of good and glad tidings. What did he do? I want to ask you this. What did he, what did he say? What did he do? Mm, good news. And good news. And some more good news. Yes. There's also Jesus preached law before the cross. And there was one after the cross. Yes. We'll not get into that. But I want you to understand that God is good. God is good. You know. Let's go to John 3, 16. But I want us to go to John 3, 15. John 3, 15. I want you to read this. It says here. Let me read the Amplified so I can freak you out a little bit and then you will understand. In order that everyone who believes in him, who cleaves to him, trusts in him and relies on him, may not perish but have eternal life, actually live Forever. There's eternal life and live forever. Natural and after death. Interesting that. Then it says as well. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish. Perish means corruption, body, but have everlasting life. You should not die naturally. Okay. You should read the scripture. There's just too many. Go to 2 Timothy 6. Talks about the gospel of life and immortality. You don't have to die. Okay. John, last chapter, they came to, G they came to Jesus uh, Quora and said, but Lord, this man is going to live forever. And Jesus said, and what is it to you if I keep this man alive till I come back? Whatever man believes in his heart, so he will be. Jesus came to restore some things or all things. Did Jesus always preach death or did he preach life? Jesus died so that we can live. Okay. Yeah, but Johan, why do people die? Because they have no understanding of who they are in Christ. So Johan, you've made it. No, I'm still getting understanding. Knowing one thing, I believe this. Although I don't fully comprehend and understand it every time. I believe what God says about me. I hold on to God's word of truth and righteousness. This is who it is. People have this whole notion that, yeah, but that, that was such a big Christian, he died. I said, yes, that's sad. And I love that person. He was beautiful. And I think it's amazing. But what did God say? How did God warn people? I've warned people, please come, be healthy. Stop eating the junk. Come and see me. Let's pray together. Let's stand together. Okay? You know, your lifestyle will kill you. Stop doing the stuff. You already had a heart attack. You already had this. Yeah? Please change your life. Let anger go. Let bitterness go. But you want, why does kids die? Why the parents got authority over kids? Okay? And it's sad. God is not happy when kids are dying. He says, no, don't, don't withhold the kids to me. And Jesus laid his hand and blessed him. He says, you know, no, to those people that does anything wrong to these kids, it's better for him to put a millstone around his neck and cast himself in the sea. What? That was his form of repentance. Do not hurt these little ones. God is not into hurting kids. Okay. But you, you. Parents have authority to cover these kids, to know who you are in Christ, to bless your kids, to sanctify your kids, okay? Like it says in Corinthians, you're the mother, sanctify your kids. You know, even if your husband is totally lost, you sanctify your kids. Do you understand this? So we always blame God, but forget our own understanding and that we have not renewed our mind concerning the word of God. And we, bl we blame God for this stuff. No, God is good, period. You know, there's no bad in God. God loves us. That's why he sent his son, okay? 
for us not to die. So I want you to understand this morning, there's still too many scriptures. I've only got like 10, 15 minutes to actually preach this and you need the whole series on this, you know. But I want you to understand, God is good. God is good. And there's no variation in the shadow of turning. Okay, God is not one day this and then then day this and then whatever it is. No, God is stable in all of His ways. We are not stable in all His ways. Our faith is this and then this and then this and this. But His faith in us is always stable. Okay, I want you to understand it this morning. I want you to understand that God is good. People dying of this disease and that disease and yeah, but that was a great Christian. But why are we saying this? That but by His stripes we were healed. We believe that scripture. So why can't we believe we don't have to die? Because sickness caused death. The Bible says that the law, the, 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 the sin and law created death. But there's no more sin, there's no more law. There's no more sin, there's no more. Why do you want to die, O house of Israel? I have no, I have not the, I have no pleasure to want to die. Turn and live. 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 Yeah, but yeah, people do die and it's normal. It's not normal to die. Have you seen how people die? I know how people are dying. They die like dogs. You want to say that's okay? That's not okay. People don't car accidents and stuff. Yeah, but Johannes, not their fault. Now, I said before you, God speaks. We don't listen. Okay. So we'd be sensitive to the Holy Spirit continues. Lord, help us. Lead me in the path of righteousness. Lord, help me to hear your voice. Help me not to do stupid things, Lord. Although I've not arrived, Lord, help me to understand that you're into the gift of life, not into the gift of death. Okay. You're not into that. Yeah, but the Old Testament, you know, will live 120 years and whatever. Uh, yeah, but after that, they still live three, four, five hundred years. Did you read the rest of that chapter? But then God, of course, sin, they still went into sinning, sinning, sinning. Okay, but till after that, hmm, plenty, plenty. But then, then Jesus came and said, I came to restore all things. Death. He says, tree of life, the tree of knowledge, good and evil. Jesus was a tree of life. He says, lest they take off, when they cast out, they did this stupid stuff. And they ate of the tree of knowledge, good and evil. And Jesus, God says, let me remove them. Otherwise, if they eat of this tree of life, they will surely live forever in that state of sin. Now God had to remove it. and said, now what? That tree was a tree of life, which was Jesus. Okay? Simple. Now we have got the tree of life. We don't have to die. Simple. Okay? So I want you to say, please, people, if you want to know more of this, contact me. If you want to judge me, it's not a problem. You want to tell your honor you can eat it. I'm aiming for life. I said, people, aim for life. Maybe if you should die, you will surely live forever with God. Yes, but aim for life. Don't aim for death. Fight your last breath. The Bible says that death is an enemy. He's not your freaking friend. Okay? And death is not normal. Okay? Choke something. Ooh, you choke. Do you want to? Oh, I love you. I was going to die. No, your body wants to live. You decide. Many people give up. I say, I will not give up. Fight till the last breath. Fight till the last breath. You know, and people, yeah, but it's his time, it's his time. If it's your time, it's your time. Why don't you just walk over the street not looking? Why don't you have your safety belt not on? Why are you not doing A, B, and C? No, your time is not your time. Okay, I want you to understand that. So if it's your time, you can just do what you want because it's not your time. A lot of crap. Okay, anyway, guys, that's me getting all right up and excited because God is good. I love my Jesus, love my Holy Spirit. Okay, guys, bless you to the full, to the overflow. Start aiming to life, not death. Okay, there's many questions you probably have now, but why is it such a good Christian? They don't know who they are, and this religious folks irritates the crap out of me because they're, they're, they're the Pharisees and Sadducees. There's no power in them to heal the sick and to raise the dead. But same, at the same point, I said some people don't want to be healed, and some people, God says me, don't raise them from the dead. So I'm also sensitive to that. Some people just don't want to be healed. They just want to die. And that's also, okay. I said before you, life and death. So you can choose life or death. You choose. Amen. Yeah, I'm getting upside. Uh, I'm regressing again, again, back into the teaching. Guys, bless you. Love you. Sign out. Send me out. Sum up. Subscribe. Do all the stuff, please. And uh, comment. Hate. Hate me. Comment. But I'm just truthful. I love Jesus and he's awesome. He's such a good God. God is good, period. There's no evil in him. Okay. Love you. Bless you to the full. To the overflows. It's been good health, good wealth, good success. And I pray that you'll hear the voice of the Father. You start getting to the right Bible place, right church, right teachers, right prophets, okay? To teach you about, about life and no more death and abundance, grace, mercy, all this goodness, faithful kindness, meekness. Get into that, okay? And know who you are, full of power and glory. Bless you guys to the full. To the overflows. Johan Mankis, GFL Ministries, signing out. Love you. Bye.